Right, hello, you're watching me have a look at the Star Trek Official Starship Collection by Eagle Moss. You can get these on the Eagle Moss website, I've searched eaglemoss.com and then Star Trek magazines take your pick. So we're looking at issue number six, which is Voyager. Brief details on the front when she was issued, number of decks, blah, blah, blah. You got small brief details where she was commissioned, the uh, 11 phase arrays, torpedo launchers, and who the captain is. Why isn't this camera focusing? There you go. And you got some lovely pictures. Ooh, look, Species 8472. And the magazine itself is like kind of laminated. It is paper, but laminated, so it's quite thick. Ooh, there goes your warp core. Battle damage. Oh, uh, it's got small team. Aero shuttle. I don't remember no aero shuttle. Hmm. But it never actually appeared on screen, so that's why I never saw it before. So apparently on the bottom, just there, is a shuttle. Okay, a captain's yacht. Uh, you got some details there. Some pretty pictures. You got your drawing designs. That looks poo. Looks like it's got a sail on top. Look at that. Who's no idea was it put wings and a sail on top? If you skip that, it wouldn't be too bad. These cutaways? Oh, okay. Hmm. Strange. Anyway. Filming Voyager. Goes into details. When she was first seen. Caretaker. Um, key appearance. Year of Hell. Camera focus. There we go. Year of Hell. You haven't seen it. Brilliant. I think it's a two-parter. Uh, first appearance. Caretaker. Final appearance. Endgame. Stop. Can this camera actually focus? There we go. And then you've got some interesting facts. So you got 7 of 9. You've got some rubbish about going above warp 10. And then the last bit tells you about the Klingon Battle Cruiser. Interesting. So let's have a look at the model, shall we? Um, it feels really light. Straight away, I can tell it's really light. So I can guarantee the quality isn't going to be as good as the others, but it's a very, very light. Got your build number on the bottom. Hello, Voyager. Let's take you. Oh my god, that is that is ridiculously light. Is there anything metal on this? Plastic, plastic. Oh, there's some metal there. Doesn't feel like it, it feels plasticky. So, out of all the shots they had, they picked her with the nacelles down instead of up in warp mode. So let's see if we can find some faults with it. Well, straight away, there's a lack of detailing on there. You're telling me that's all the windows there is on Voyager? There was definitely more windows. Secondly, secondary deflector. I would have thought it'd be more of a, an orangey colour, not a yellowy colour. Hmm. You see here, these are meant to be windows. They're not painted very well. Hmm. Not over cleaning and painting, or lack of. Shot, shot bar is not too bad. They're definitely really thin and flimsy. If you're a Voyager fan, obviously get the Voyager model. But at the moment, I'm not overly impressed. Focus camera. So you can see the join along there. What's the join lock on the other side? Yes, look at a gap. Look at that gap in there. You can actually, I can get my nail in there. This camera's not focusing. There we go. The underside's not too bad. But definitely some of these windows up top are not in alignment properly. Deflectors not I'm not overly keen on this at all. I like Voyager as a whole, but the quality of this build's quite poor. You got your impulses there aren't showing that well. Look at this gap here. Again, I can fit my nail in there. I'm sure that gap's not meant to be that big. That's quite a poor build, I must say. Doesn't help the camera's not focusing properly. Right. Yeah, these, these windows should be painted. Oh, I'm not over keen on this at all. And there's the little 
captain's yacht type thing. You'd have thought there'd be more detailing around here as well. But there isn't. So, if you like Voyager, that's worth having Voyager. If you're collecting a whole lot, obviously get this one, but I'd say skip this one. There's definitely a lack of details. But obviously, that's my opinion. Quite like this, though. You've got the red dot for light, and you've got the green one for the other light. It's quite nice little touches. And what was this? This was £10. Whenever the camera focuses probably on it. Spend all this money on cameras. Looks like get a nice close up the paint chips off that top. To be fair, my models don't actually go on display at all, they literally sit in their boxes. So there's no reason for it to be chips. Hmm. There's definitely no weight to it, it's definitely really light. I'd say the quality of it's quite poor. There's lack of detail. I don't see why there's a lack of detail. There are plenty of shots on screen to use. Um, a bit disappointed with the windows. Like I said, it feels really light. feels really flimsy. If you put it on the stand and it falls off, like I see it could probably get broken really easily. But there you go. That's issue number six of the Star Trek Official Ships by Igamos. And that is Voyager. Oh, did that click and break? No, it didn't break. So thanks for watching. And the next one is... I believe it was a D7. Was it the D7? <gasps> no, it's the Clark Battle Cruiser. So I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching. And basically, bye.